Oh, wow. Look at all these books. I'm just chilling out here in the nonfiction section at the library. Do you know what nonfiction means? Well, nonfiction books are about, are books that are about things that are actually real. Sometimes they're like storybooks, like fairy tales and things, but most nonfiction books have scientific and historical facts inside them. Yeah, that's what makes it so interesting. I know, today let's do a story time about, uh, let's see, about something cool. Let's do a story time that's for the birds. Let's do a story time about cool birds. Cool birds, get it? Penguins! Oh, and take it away, Mr. Mike. Thank you, Harvey. It's always good to learn about new things. Every day we should try to learn something new. Well, I've got my trusty ukulele so you know what time it is. Make sure you're listening because there's parts for you to do in this song too. Are you ready for a story? Are you really ready for a story? If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. Ha, huh, let's see, what now? Let's stomp our feet. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. Hmm, oh, let's spin around. If you're ready, that was the wrong chord. <laughs> if you're ready for a story, spin around. If you're ready for a story, spin around. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, spin around. Let's see, what else? Oh, let's, let's jump. If you're ready for a story, jump up high. If you're ready for a story, jump up high. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, jump up high. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Clap your hands and stomp your feet. Make your hands nice and neat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. All right, I'm ready for a story now. Let's go read a book. You know, everybody, penguins have problems. Penguins have lots of problems. And this book is going to tell us all about them. So let's read Penguin Problems. And there's our penguin right there. It's hard to find him at first, right? Hmm. Let's open this book and find out all about it. And there he is sleeping. Aww. It's way too early. My beak is cold. What's with all the squawking, you guys? It snowed some more last night, and I don't even like the snow. It's too bright out here. I'm hungry. I'd like a fish. Where are all the fish? Hey, fish, get out here. The ocean smells too salty today. I'm not buoyant enough. I sink like a dumb rock. It's way too dark down here. Brrr. I said, Brrr. Oh, oh, great. An orca. Oh, oh, great, great, yeah, leopard seal. Oh, great. A shark. What is it with this place? Oh, I don't like being hunted. I'm still hungry, but my flippers ache. I waddle too much. I look silly when I waddle. Waddle, 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 waddle. See? I wish I could fly, but I can't. See? 
Everybody looks the same as me. I look the same as everybody else. Mom? I literally have no idea who you are. Dad? I literally have no idea who you, what you're talking about. My name's Mortimer. I have so many problems and nobody even cares. Don't, oh, excuse me, sir. What? Good afternoon. I sense that today has been difficult, but lo, look around you, penguin. Have you noticed the way the mountains are reflected in the ocean like a painting? Have you gazed upon the blue of that cloudless winter sky, my friend? Have you felt the sun as it gently warms your back? Have you simply stood with your penguin brothers and sisters and elders who adore you? Yes, yeah, some things are challenging out here. Yes, we all have difficult moments from the walruses to the polar bears, from the whales to the penguins. But hear me now, my new friend. I wouldn't trade my life for any other, and I'm quite sure you wouldn't either. I am certain that when you think about it, you'll realize you are exactly where you need to be. Please think about what I've said, Penguin. Goodbye for now. Who the heck was that guy? Why do strangers always talk to me? Walruses don't understand penguin problems. <sighs> okay, okay. Maybe that walrus has a point. After all, I do love the mountains. And the ocean. And the sky. And I have friends and family. This is my only home and this is my only life. Maybe things will work out after all. My beak is cold. It gets dark way too early. And that is the end of our story. But is it the end of Penguin Problems? Who knows? That's a good book when you're feeling down and you're depressed and things don't seem to be going your way. Sometimes we all need a little bit of a reality check to be happy with where we are. You can find this book in the blue section of the library because Jory John and Lane Smith are two of my favorites. And the blue section is where mine and your favorites go. That was a great book, all right? Uh, penguins are my favorite cold weather bird out of the only very few cold weather birds that I know about. Anyway, let's have some fun and get some exercise. Let's move like a penguin. Let's start by flapping our arms and counting to 10. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was great. Next, let's try and do some shoulder shrugs. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was really awesome. Next, let's do some airplane arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You did it. Give yourself a round of applause. We're going to transition into another book. Table manners, right? Everybody needs them. Everybody needs to use them at some point in their life. Whether you're eating at a fast food restaurant or a fancy five-star French cuisine restaurant. <laughs> Everybody should exhibit some form of table manners. But what are table manners? What is polite? What's impolite? How's anybody supposed to know? If you go over to somebody's house, how are you supposed to know what they expect with your manners? Well, that's why we have this handy dandy guide called Please Say Please. Penguin's Guide to Manners by Margaret Kyler and Will Hildebrand. Oh man, we got a lion turning a cartwheel and a bear riding an elephant. They must be on their way to something fun. Hmm. 
When friends are invited to Penguin's house for dinner, should they barge right in without asking? Let's eat! Is that right? No, no, that's wrong. When friends are invited to Penguin's house for dinner, they should knock first and wait until Penguin opens the door. Hello! When Pig comes to the table, he should wipe his muddy hooves all over the tablecloth. Oh, yuck! Is that right? No, that's wrong. When a pig comes to the table, he should wash his hooves first until they are squeaky clean. Squeak, squeak. When a hippo sits down for dinner, she should put her napkin on her head. How pretty. Is that, is that right? No, that's wrong. When a hippo sits down for dinner, she should lay her napkin on her lap. That's better. When a lion is served cauliflower, he should say, Oh, I hate cauliflower. <laughs> Was that right? No, no, that's wrong. When a lion is served cauliflower, he should say, I'll try some. Hmm, not bad. When it's time for a bear to eat, she should grab her spoon and throw it across the room. Whee! Is that right? No, that's wrong. When it's time for a bear to eat, she should use her spoon to taste her honey all sticky poo delicious. When an elephant drinks milk at mealtime, he should spray it all over the table. <laughs> Is that right? No, that's wrong. When an elephant drinks milk at mealtime, she should sip it quietly, a few gallons at a time. When a chimpanzee wants more to eat, she should grab what she wants. Gimme, 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 gimme! Is that right? No, that's wrong. When a chimpanzee wants more to eat, she should say, please pass the bananas. <laughs> When a rhino makes a joke at the table, he should talk with his mouth full. Is that right? No, that's wrong. When Hippo makes a joke at the table, he should swallow what's in his mouth first. Oh. When Parrot has to go to the bathroom, she should fly from the table without being excused. Get out of the way! Is that right? No, no, that's wrong. When Parrot has to go to the bathroom, she should say, may I be excused. Squack, squack. When a giraffe eats leaves for supper, she should burp to show that she's happy. Burp. Is that right? No, no, that's wrong. When a giraffe eats leaves for supper, she should try to control herself. Oh my. And when it's time to go home, guests should knock over all the chairs and run for the door. Is that right? Well, is it? No, that is wrong. When it's time for the guests to go home, they should say, thanks for dinner. We had a great time. And if you follow all the manners and use your best etiquette and be on your best behavior, maybe your host will say, Come back soon. The end. Now, one important thing to remember is that everybody's house is different. If your house doesn't follow all of those manners exactly, that's okay when you're with your own house. And if you do follow all those manners or you follow more manners at your house, that's okay too. Well, here's a little flannel board story called Five Baby Penguins. One baby penguin makes a wish. Two baby penguins catch a fish.
three baby penguins slip and slide. Four baby penguins run and hide. Five baby penguins look around calling, Mama, Mama, Mama. And now they are found. Let's try that again. One baby penguin makes a wish. Two baby penguins catch a fish. Three baby penguins slip and slide. Four baby penguins run and hide. Five baby penguins looking around, calling, Mama, Mama, Mama. And now they are found. And here's another flammable board story we can do together. It's called Five Little Penguins. Five little penguins swam the ocean floor. One saw a whale. And then there were four. Four little penguins spun around. Whee! One spun off. And then there were three. Three little penguins with nothing to do. One went fishing. And then there were two. Two little penguins having lots of fun. One slid away. And then there was one. One little penguin. When the day was done, he went home for sleep. And then there were none. <laughs> now we've got a story about friendship. Friendship between an animal and a pine cone. Penguin in Pine Cone by Selena Yoon. One day, Penguin found a curious object. What's this? Hmm, it was too brown to be a snowball. Crunch, too hard to be food. Ow, and too prickly to be an egg. Well, whatever you are, you're cold. Well, Penguin got busy. Knit one, pearl, two. Brrr. Penguin loved his new friend. Whoosh, wee, achoo. Uh-oh. What's wrong with my friend? It's too cold here, said Grandpa. Pinecone belongs in the forest far, far away. He can't grow big and strong on the ice. Penguin sighed. I guess I'd better take you home, Pinecone. Penguin packed his sled for the long journey. The wind pushed hard, but Penguin pulled harder. Finally, the forest Pinecone, you're home. Penguin made a cozy nest out of the softest pine needles he could find. The day grew hotter and hotter. Goodbye, Pinecone. You will always be in my heart. Time passed and passed and passed. Had Pinecone grown big and strong, like Penguin had? Penguin set off to find out. Pinecone? Yay, Pinecone! Penguin and Pinecone played and played. Pinecone was sad to see Penguin go, but the forest is no place for a penguin. Penguin and Pinecone may have been far apart, but they have always stayed in each other's hearts. When you give love, hmm, what's this? It grows. The end. It's a lovely story. It's a beautiful story of friendship. And you can find this in the yellow section of our library because it's about caring, being kind, and making friends. Well, it's that time once again. I had an awesome story time, and I hope you enjoyed all those books and all the songs and stories we told as well. So it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. 
Well, it's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Yee-haw! Well, it's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Yee-haw! Well, it's time to say goodbye. Oh, it's time to say goodbye. Yeah, it's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Bye-bye!